What's up, makers? My name is Luke. Today, we're going to challenge our ingenuity and creativity by building some paper bridges. Bridges are one of the most important structures in our world. Throughout history, bridges have helped humans connect to new places, natural resources, and most importantly, one another. There are many different types of bridges that use various materials to support vehicles, supplies, and people. Some bridges have lasted for thousands of years. These bridges teach us that the strength of a bridge doesn't come from its material. It comes from its structure. If you look closely, you can see how strong bridges use angles and shapes to distribute the weight on top of the bridge evenly. Today's challenge is to create a bridge out of paper to see how many pennies it can hold before collapsing. As you make your bridge, compare and contrast different structures to discover what works best and then think about combining the designs. Let me demonstrate. First, create a chasm or gap to test your different bridge designs. I first started with just a flat sheet of paper to see how many pennies it could hold. Because the paper did not have any supports, it could not even bear the weight of one penny. For my second design, I simply folded the paper in half to see if doubling the paper's thickness might hold more pennies. This design was better than my first, but it still collapsed pretty quickly. For my third design, I thought about how some bridges use shapes and angles on their sides to support the weight of materials and vehicles. This design is definitely better than the previous two. You can see that folding the paper and creating two 90 degree angles on each side helps give the bridge more strength and support. For my last design, I decided to combine what worked before with a new idea. I thought about how the triangle is the strongest shape. When weight is applied to the top of a triangle, it evenly distributes that weight to the other two angles. So I folded a piece of paper to create a zigzag pattern and laid my third design on top of the zigzags to create a flat surface. As you can see, this design is definitely the strongest because the weight is supported by the triangles in the zigzag pattern and the 90 degree folds from my third design. And there she goes. This bridge finally collapsed. You can see out of my four designs, this bridge was the strongest because it used shapes and angles to support the penny's weight. So to recap, your challenge is to create a bridge out of paper by folding it to create angles and shapes. Use your imagination and think about the different bridges you have seen before. Don't be afraid to combine different designs, and if your design doesn't work, don't give up. Figure out what didn't work and try again. Thanks for watching this video. Share your creation online using the hashtag ITeachMaker. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to follow us on social media at ITeachMakerBus. See you later, makers.